Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So I want to give you an update on the uh, Pine phone with a SIM card in it, testing, let you know how it's going. So I'm currently running on uh, Arch Linux, I believe it's called. And my other option is Mobian. If I take out the uh, add-in memory, it boots to the onboard memory. And that's what it installed there. So, um, not getting many phone calls because I, I, I only give this out to personal, not to business. So, and, and nobody remembers to call me on the phone. They call me on my regular line. They're very well programmed. So, um, what have I discovered so far? Well, um, the email application Geary works very well using IMAP mode on fitting the screen properly being of a reasonable font size that's easy to read and typable keyboard to reply to messages so it's been a handy check your mail thing device instead of having to open my laptop power it up connect to a wi-fi and go send and receive um, it works very well if an email comes in you hear a little jingle and if you look at the screen it'll say something about it or something about multiple ones if there are such a so that so that was kind of pleasing I was I was pleasantly surprised that we're well that's got not much not much to do with pine foam but more to do with Geary I guess than anything else because I can't remember the other email application I used I tried to set up with pop it was so damn small it wouldn't fit the screen properly you had to you had to rotate it to, to get do certain things and it was very terrible so a star for for email application on Pinephone works very well. The next thing I, I tried to do was to use the hotspot on both of the operating systems, and in both cases, it, it didn't work very well at all. I was able to tunnel to a to a VPN server. I was able to initiate a remote desktop session, but I, I would get dropped, or it would or it would, it would freeze and come back and freeze and come back. And you do some troubleshooting on it, trace route. Most of the most of the, the, the routes failed, and uh, I was surprised, based on what you saw on the trace route, that I, that remote desktop worked at all. Very poor. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know whose fault that is, but uh, it doesn't work very well at all. And something I noticed too is that a little bit different than other phones is normally when you do a hotspot, you got to turn off Wi-Fi. But in the case of Pine Phone, I, I, turning on Wi-Fi puts it into airplane mode. So I don't think that's the right choice. So you leave it turned on, and then you just choose Wi-Fi from the menu, and it sets it up. But Wi-Fi appears to be on. If I use my Android, I know I got I got to turn Wi-Fi off to use Hotspot. So, so something that's different there that maybe I never noticed before. So anyway, here's some really good news. What, what is that flashing light? You know, when I look at the phone, I don't see it. Only the infrared camera in my laptop can see that. What, what, what's, what, what secret signal is that thing sending out? Anyone got any ideas there? I don't know. But So, on Arch Linux, the battery is lasting a couple of days of being on totally and, 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 not, and not running down to empty where it shuts off. But if I... Take the memory card out, boot to Mobian, four hours the battery's dead. There's the doornail. Goes quick. So somebody wrote some software or someone else did not. I don't know. Um, but but that, that's a promising sign. That that's a that's the killer for this phone. As long as there's a bad problem with battery life expectancy being short, this phone is a piece of garbage. If that problem is solved, all of a sudden I see a ray of hope for the potential of this thing. Hopefully, some other problems that are there will get solved and make this phone an actual daily driver that makes and receives phone calls. So, here's what I think needs to be done. We need... Oh, one, one more thing I want to tell you about that I discovered. So, I connected my Bluetooth headset to this phone again. Last time I did that, which was a couple years ago, you get this... Wee! sound in your ear ah you gotta pull you know so so it wasn't ready for prime time well 
I did it again. No beeping sound. No, 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 no objectionable noise. So I open a web browser, go to YouTube. Oh, I can hear it through my Bluetooth. The Bluetooth works. Incredible. Somebody's been busy. It only took a couple of years. Somebody's been busy. Oh. So I called the phone from the other phone. Oh, can't, can't, can't pick up the call. Pick up the call manually. Oh, can't hear the call, so it doesn't work for the phone yet. Another showstopper for being a daily driver is hands-free operation. So this can sit in the cradle in my car. I can see the screen and I can answer and hang up phones and talk into it. And people hear it now. I did put it in the cradle and call people and turn on the loudspeaker. Um, I, I didn't get the experience myself, but they, they, they said it was okay. I, I asked them, Is, do you hear yourself talking? And they said, well, no, not really. So maybe it's okay, maybe not. I'd have to be the other end of the phone to really judge that appropriately. But um, that's a good sign. So email works good. Hotspot needs improvement. And Bluetooth connectivity needs more more improvement to be daily driver ready. Until then, no. So 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 what else? Is there anything else? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think that's it. So, so I'm going to continue testing this. It's a, on a twenty-dollar a month phone plan. I can get all the incoming calls. I can get all the text messages I can get, and hopefully somebody's going to call me on it, and I can get some more experience on how the calling is working and what needs to be improved there. I'm still leery that someone's going to send me a picture attachment with a text message and that's going to lock up the modem and give me grief unless that's been fixed it doesn't seem that way because the application that you use to look at your text message doesn't say anything about um, attachments so I'm assuming it's still not compatible with multimedia attachments uh, it'd be nice to uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll send myself one and, and suffer the pain and see what happens maybe it works who knows so anyway um, that's um, an update on the uh, current Pine phone with a SIM card in it, and I'll keep I'll keep going on. It's been a couple of weeks now. Um, I, I'm I'm not totally aggravated with it like I was the first time around, and uh, I'm I'm not ready to to, to go back to my BlackBerry 100% because I know it's not going to be working much longer with the G. Uh, the, the, G3 shutdown, whatever they call it. Anyway, um, thanks for listening, everybody. Take care.